Good morning, my name is Hans-Peter Gröchenig. I'm a senior physician at the uh, Convent Hospital Barmherzige Brüder St. Veit. It's located in the south of Austria and uh, we are specialized uh, on the treatment for patients with uh, IPD. We have a very big outpatient clinic. We see uh, over the year about 700 patients with this disease, 50-50 um, between uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And we also have a very high percentage of patients who are on biologic therapies. We, we saw that about 20% of our patients are treated with biologics, 10F-alpha, uh, uh, vedolizumab and uh, ustekinumab. We started with the quantum blood test in late summer 2016. I think we, uh, we, was the, we were the first um, hospital in Austria who get the ability to, to treat patients uh, with uh, the quantum blood test. We introduced it in our lab, so we had the possibility to get faster results for measurement of trough levels for infliximab. And in the last three months, we also get the possibility to start with the adalimumab um, point of care test from Pühlmann. Um, we are very happy that we can use this test because it's very important in our patient management. The application is that, for the, from my point of view, for the perfect, perfect management of these patients, we need very uh, rapid response uh, from the uh, laboratory values, especially from trough levels uh, on patients who are on biologics, mainly in fliximab, and it's important in the management of the later therapy, and this was the main reason uh, we introduced this test. Before we, we started with this test, we, we performed the, the draft level measurement with an ELISA test and normally we had to wait two to three weeks to get the results and this was far too long for our patients. One very uh, important situation is when we start induction therapy, uh, we get patients on a new biologic, mainly in Fliximab or Adalimumab, and uh, we we use this test to, to get more information in the induction phase, how the treatment responds. On week uh, six, we want to have levels, uh, I think, abo uh, above 20 is, is, is very good. Uh, when we have levels uh, who are about 10 or 12, we are not so happy. And But you, also, you, you have also to bring it in correlation with with the with the calprotectin and with the with the quality of life and the and the symptoms of the patients. Also we want to see that the calprotectin level is going down the faster the better. And on the other side we want to see very high uh, trough levels in the induction phase. Then we adjust the dose for the later maintenance uh, phase and, and when we get uh, very early these results we can say are the patients on a good level or um, do we have need to shorten the intervals or to hide the dose. We also used trough level measurement during maintenance phase. Uh, I think there are different situations when we have patients who are stable on maintenance dose. We routinely check the draft level, I would say one or two times a year, and when we have levels who are between four and, and, and six, seven, it's okay. When we have levels who are too high, I would say above 15, and we have no calprotectin, we could try to, to go up with the interval or to, to go down with the dose. On the other side, when we have patients uh, who uh, get uh, symptomatic or calprotectin is, is, is going up or they get problems like perianal disease or fistulas and we see that the level is not that high we want, I would say about 10, um, I would try to, to shorten the interval or go up with the dose. It's the same for infliximab and adalimumab. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I'm very happy with the tool. The impression is very good because it's an easy and fast uh, test. And normally, most of our patients we, we see in our outpatient clinic, and the patients uh, come for uh, for visit 
they bring us a stool sample and, and we get the labor laboratory uh, measurement and within about 30 to 60 minutes we have all results on the table and I can talk with the patients about the next step in therapy and this is important. I can say to the patients, look, your calprotectin is going up the last three times and your draft level is not that high I want, so we have to change the therapy or I can say everything is fine, you have normal calprotectin uh, uh, values and the draft level is in a, in a good range. We, we stay in the therapy like it is uh, right now. Um, yeah, that's very important. Uh, I think uh, most of the time we, we have to combine it because we cannot get information, with, uh, f we cannot get treatment uh, decisions when we only have one of these two values. We always need um, the calprotectin to have information about the inflammation burden and we need at the same time the information about the biologic, how is it behaving in the body, um, do we have a, a um, treatment failure due to uh, a loss of uh, trough level, then we have to go up with the, with the medication. Or do we have a real treatment failure when we see uh, the trough level is high enough but patient is not responding, then it's for me um, the point where we have to switch therapy, to switch to a different class or to switch to a different uh, TNF-alpha blocker. It's not time consuming, it's not difficult, it's easier and faster than the test we used before and this is the, the big advantage from my point of view for this test because we get uh, in a real time frame, we get the, the results, we only have to wait 30 to 60 minutes to get this test and, and we can react at the same visit and, 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 and change our treatment for the patients and this is the, the big advantage for this point of care test.